I've got several big news stories for you tonight about Donald Trump, about some of the crazy things that Joe Biden said. And you'll see why I say it's crazy, because this is the guy carrying the nuclear football that could blow up the entire world. Um, I'm down here in Phoenix. I'm traveling for work, um, but I still wanted to come on and give you guys the news. So let's go ahead and jump into it. President Joe Biden just received some backlash after he jokingly bragged that he could blow up the world during a visit to the world's largest windmill factory in Colorado. After Biden walked up to a worker at the facility who was holding some form of box, uh, it reminded him of something called the nuclear football, which carries the nuclear missile codes uh, that allows him to launch nuclear missiles around the world. Now, Biden stated, now look, my Marine carries that and it has a code to blow up the world. This is not nuclear weapons, is it? While the workers nervously laughed at his joke, Biden stated, you think I'm kidding? I never knew that a Marine equipped with a nuclear authentication device follows the president, but I guess that thing literally goes with him everywhere and then he has the codes on his actual body so but are they going to have to use the 25th amendment and get this guy removed i mean nobody should be joking about nuclear weapons i don't like when vladimir putin does it and i don't like it when joe biden does it okay now back in congress in washington dc the house of representatives passed a bill to permanently freeze the $6 billion that the Biden White House planned to release back to the country of Iran. Uh, surprisingly, 90 Democrats joined in to vote for the bill, which shows strong bipartisanship for the country of Israel and not enriching someone who has declared themselves an enemy of the United States, namely Iran. Now, Representative uh, Keith Self criticized President Biden for rewarding hostage taking and stated there is only one language that is understood by our adversaries and that is strength. So um, President Biden, his actions are becoming increasingly more unpopular, but it's not just among Republicans, it's among independents, it's among libertarians, uh, it's also among Democrats. During an interview on Bloomberg TV, billionaire hedge fund founder Bill Ackman stated that Biden will ruin his good legacy if he doesn't step aside to allow someone who can actually compete to fill his place. Ackman stated, you need to be at your intellectual best, and I don't think Biden is there. I don't say that with any derision of the president but I think he's clearly past his physical and cognitive peak. So he's basically saying, listen, I wouldn't hire this guy to be a CEO. I certainly wouldn't hire him to run the country. He needs to step down. And I think a lot of us in this community would agree with this guy. By the way, thank you guys so much for liking and sharing these videos. You have no idea how much it helps me. So thank you so much. All right, presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, you, you guys remember I interviewed him? Uh, he has finally commented on the billionaire endorsements that Nikki Haley has been receiving from groups like AFP, The Cooks, uh, Citadel, and others. He stated the establishment is supporting the establishment's puppet. I'm an anti-establishment candidate. And there's a reason why it's an uphill climb for an anti-establishment candidate. But we're going to make it to the top because it's we, the people, that decide who runs the country. Not a bunch of people in the back of super PAC conferences. Now, I know many of you like Donald Trump. You also like Vivek Ramaswamy. I think they could actually be an interesting pair because they're two very successful business people. But this guy makes up uh, a good point. He says, we the people are the ones that need to be controlling this country, not the billionaires. It's literally the billionaires that are controlling the country. For example, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, he pumped over $400 million in the election to get Joe Biden elected. 
Now, that's more money than the entire federal government spent to host the elections. So that tells me that, uh, you know, that billionaire, Mark Zuckerberg, really had a huge impact on the last presidential election. An appeals court in New York has reinstated a gag order on the former president, Donald Trump, which prevents him from talking about court staff outside of the court. However, he has not kept, uh, this has not kept the former president from criticizing Judge uh, Enegron's wife after she posted an AI-generated picture of Donald Trump in jail. Now, according to... <laughs> This makes no sense to me. This lady has posted four anti-Donald Trump posts over on Twitter while this trial is going on. So they're saying he's getting a fair trial. Nobody's against him. There is no bias. This is the law. And yet this judge's wife is putting out to all of their social media family and friends that she wants Donald Trump locked up, that she wants him to lose his business that she wants him to rot in jail. So how is this husband of this woman supposed to convince us that he's being fair and using the rule of law and not his opinion or his lack of opinion towards Donald Trump? He, he's openly said how much he dislikes Trump. So just one more thing that is up against the former president. Now, Trump, of course, went and raged about this. And I, I think this was righteous rage, right? He said... This is the most unfair trial in the history of New York. And I've had some pretty unfair trials. Uh, uh, as of this moment, it appears that Ergonon's wife has deleted her Twitter profile in response to the outrage. So he got his base really, really rallied up. They went over. They let her know their opinion of this, this meme saying that he should be rotting in jail. And basically she took it down. But let me know in the comments down below. I don't care if you vote for Trump or not. Uh, this, this is very, very unfair. But let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're a Democrat or an independent that uh, follows me, think about this. Uh, if Joe Biden had a judge ruling whether he went to jail or not, and MAGA people were putting up memes in his family of, this guy needs to rot in jail. This guy, this guy needs to rot in jail. It's totally unfair, regardless of which side of the story you're on. Now, Biden's transportation secretary, Pete Booty Judge, has hit back at Republicans. House Speaker Mike Johnson, after he expressed his dissatisfaction with Booty Judge's performance, Booty Judge stated Johnson has to be unserious because he made the comment while touring an airport project that he voted against funding. To be honest, um, I like Johnson, but it is a bit embarrassing to mock somebody and then praise the very project that they helped build, even though you voted against spending money on improving that airport. A popular Israeli uh, media company, the Times of Israel, has released a leaked transcript from a meeting between U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and high-ranking members of the Israeli military. In the meeting, Blinken stated that Israel does not have the credit for dismantling Hamas entirely. When it came to reasons why, Blinken had a huge issue with Israel's plan to attack South Gaza due to the amount of civilians in the area. It does not seem like America is ready to back Israel in the operation needed to defeat Hamas entirely due to the civilian cost that it would require. Now, this is a really tough thing because Israel does need to get rid of Hamas, but if they continue to kill innocent Palestinian families, mothers, children, everybody's going to hate their guts. I don't care if that sounds anti-Semitic or not. They're going to bring a lot of hatred on themselves from the rest of the world if they, they continue to attack innocent Palestinians. So I'm all for getting rid of Hamas, but they've, they've got to do it in a way that actually gets rid of Hamas. And then, like Elon Musk said, they need to put capital in and rebuild this because otherwise people are just angry and they fall back into the bad leadership habits that got us into this situation in the first place. So um, it's really a, a big deal. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. I'm down here in Phoenix, uh, Arizona at a business conference. Uh, but again, I wanted to come on and get you guys the news. 
If you like this stuff, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Check out this important interview that I did earlier today with Colonel Schaefer about Ukraine and Israel and UFOs. That part was really interesting. And then also check out this video. Hey, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video.